Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video and today I'm going to show you a few old journals that I finished a while ago to be honest I, I was planning to make something else this week uh, to film a few other videos but uh, I am already in a holiday mood next week I will go to the festival to Germany and we'll spend a week there and when you are watching this video I'm already on the festival but even now this week I'm already in a holiday mood and somehow it's really difficult to concentrate on something so I didn't do much this this week and I also was feeling not very good because of my back problems and chronic back pain that got worse so I was not very productive, uh, so today I decided to show you a few old journals and uh, show you a flip throughs of these journals and tell you a bit about these journals and why I started these journals. Both of these journals are filled with different collages and maybe they will inspire you to start an own journal with collages. So uh, these two notebooks, uh, they are both from a shop called Flying Tiger. If you live somewhere in Europe, probably you know this shop. It's a chain, I think, Danish chain. And they were super cheap, something like one euro for each notebook. And as you can see, they are made in uh, traveler's notebook style. And that was actually the reason why I bought this, because I was not really sure if I want to buy original traveler's notebook, if I can use that size. I know that for many people uh, traveler's notebooks are nothing new and they use them for years, but for me my love to traveler's notebooks uh, started only last year, in the beginning of the last year. And before that, I of course uh, knew about Traveler's Notebooks, but I was not really sure if I would like to use them myself because of the size. First of all, when I started journaling, I always used uh, big journals, like A5 journals or even bigger. And Traveler's Notebook size, especially that it's not very wide, uh, I was not sure about that size and if I really like that size. So first I wanted to try something similar but cheaper because Traveler's Notebooks are not the cheapest notebooks ever. Uh, so that's why I got these two. They came both with two inserts but now I have only one here. They came with two inserts like this and also with, with this folder like here with this pocket and uh, this folder with envelope and of course the quality of this notebook is even not close to uh, original traveler's notebooks it's just some kind of plastic uh, cover and also quality of these inserts is maybe not the best but it costs one euro so I think I can't ask too much for, for that price and for me the most important was to try out the size actually, if I like the size, especially that the pages are rather narrow because I was used to big white pages. So the quality of that of the notebook was not that important. I just wanted to try how is it to work in this kind of notebooks. And, and I finished these two journals before I got my first traveler's notebook. And if you saw some of my previous videos where I'm showing all my traveler's notebooks that I have now, uh, probably you can guess that I really loved the size, I really loved everything about this kind of journals and now I'm using them regularly, but back then I just was not really sure. So now I want to show you these notebooks and what I did in them. Both of them I used for collages and I finished these two inserts with collages. As you can see, these are from from the last year and uh, this this notebook is with more or less like travel related collages not only travel collages but mostly I guess like a 
travel journal, uh, but without journaling, just some uh, travel collages. Uh, and I noticed actually really early already when I started to work in this uh, uh, notebook that, and that I like the size of it and that this narrow pages is not a problem at all and that I actually really like this kind of journals and I also like the idea that uh, you can exchange the inserts and that there are so many different inserts for travelers notebooks and this this kind of journals with different paper and that you also can easily make the inserts yourself if you don't want to buy them and you can combine all possible kinds of paper in your inserts and use them as as you want and make them as you want so yeah i noticed very fast that i actually really love this the size and this kinds of journals but anyway i wanted to finish this first insert um, and then i think shortly after i finished this one and this one and i was working in them in the same time basically and then shortly after that i got my first traveler's notebook and since then it's a huge huge love uh, now i have already quite a few different traveler's notebooks and i use them for different purposes and have different kinds of journals and also make journals like this myself it's like this traveler's notebook style journals with inserts that you can exchange when they are full uh, that they are not sewn to the cover but uh, just you fix them with, with this uh, elastic. Yeah, so this was the first journal with collages. And I didn't do anything with the cover here. Cover, I think this cover is very cute, very cute llamas. It's not, not very good quality, but it's okay. Like for the price, it's, it's okay. And inside I just decorated the cover. Uh, with some stickers and I also have this one uh, this cover was just green and I decorated it with, with some travel stickers and in this one I have nature themed collages with lots of birds and animals and also I have this folder with a pocket and envelope and I took out the inserts from uh, this cover and made my own insert so if I didn't really like those uh, inserts that were included in this cover so I made my own and actually I just took some papers that were <laughs> laying on my desk and uh, put them together just cut them to the size that I want and I didn't bind them at all. I didn't sew them together anything. They are not binded. I just put them inside and they are basically fixed here in the middle with this elastic. So it's like a super simple idea for the journal. If you want to make a very quick and easy journal, then you can just use this kind of cover, take some papers and put them together basically and fix them with this elastic in the middle so as you can see they are not not binded not sewn together and I was making different nature themed collages in this insert and I also really like how this insert turned out and some pages are kind of fixed uh, together because I rather often did something like that so if i had some big elements so they are kind of also glued here in the middle so some of the pages kind of fixed together but in the same time not really fixed uh, because they are not sewn together and anything like that but just some pages are a bit fixed with, with some papers that go from one page to another 
but that's all like yeah as you can see it's it's not fixed and it was really fun to work in this kind of journal because i always could add some pages if i needed more pages or if i wanted more pages and also can easily change them uh, in the journal like just switch them switch the places if i wanted to have them somewhere else then i could easily exchange a few few papers few pages and it was really fun to work in this journal and i'm thinking about making this kind of journal again like kind of not not bind it together not sewn anything but just take some papers put them together and fix them with some elastic in the middle and that's all and actually it works and it's pretty stable these pages are uh, pretty stable they don't move around too much only if you want to move them then you can but uh, in general they don't move around too much so it's convenient to work in this journal and very very easy to make yeah so this was the second journal that i made using this very cheap kind of traveler's notebooks covers and i have to say that it was really fun to work in this two journals and they helped me to understand if i need my own traveler's notebook or not if i like this kind of notebooks or not if it's something for me so it was really helpful and i'm happy that i tried this first so in case if you are thinking about buying your own first traveler's notebook and you never used traveler's notebooks before and you are not sure if you like the size if you can use this kind of journal then i would highly recommend you to buy something like this like kind of something similar to traveler's notebooks and this kind of notebooks you can find in many stationery shops i saw them also in other shops not only in the flying tiger where i bought them something similar like this very very cheap so you can buy them and try out and make your own journal just use the cover and make your own journal if you don't like the inserts and maybe that will help you to understand if you like traveler's notebooks or not and i think that's all for today i hope this video was interesting for you and maybe inspired you to make some collages or to try out this kind of journals maybe make your own journal like this with uh, without binding pages together i hope it was interesting for you thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos bye